So today I'm going to show you how to build this mortising jig. Both the knob video and the edge guide video I released, uh, they're actually kind of necessary in order to build this. I use it quite a bit. Go through some of the details really quick. And you see how this is open here on the side. I usually clamp it down. That way it doesn't move on you. Uh, the idea is this will go up and down here. You can lock your piece flush with the surface. Flip the toggle, that'll hold it in place. Now there is also this other jig I don't have in the video, but same idea. There's two eyelets here that you can screw in. That way if you need to do, uh, if you need to route your end grain, it'll hold it in place vertically. These are stop locks here, which is nice if you're doing loose tannins. You can replicate them, it'll keep them exactly the same. Now I routed this out just to fit my edge guide. That way there's minimal end play. These uh, stop guides just lock it here. Makes it really nice to keep a straight line and uh, replicate the same exact mortise in whatever you're doing. So stay tuned, I'll show you how it's made. So I'm gonna try something a little bit different with this video. I'm gonna try music and narration. So let me know if you prefer that to what I've been doing or vice versa. Fairly recently, I picked up a stack of woodworking books at a garage sale for a few dollars. Most of them are older. Uh, amongst them was one called Router Magic by Bill Hylton. Uh, it was printed in 1996. That's where I got the basic idea for this jig. I did make some modifications. So the first step was, as you can see me doing there, is just cutting everything to um, length and width, most of which I did on the table saw with crosscut sled. Uh, yeah, everything fits. Thumbs up. Running everything through the planer because my shop was just too clean. It's really important to make as large of a mess as possible with every project. book suggests using hardwood for everything. I don't see a need for that. I did use it for the toggle clamp faces, but for the body, this pine construction lumber ad sitting around should be plenty adequate. Anytime I really need to thread something in straight, I'll use the drill press and I'll turn the chuck by hand. curious about these wooden knobs, it's a pretty simple build. I'll put a link up at the top of the screen. Here I'm cutting out the stop blocks that are going to go on the top of the jig. Here's
here's where I start to stray from the plan a bit. I'm cutting out a block that I'm going to glue on the end of the jig and I'm going to route a channel in that for the edge guide to ride on. If I were to do the jig all over again, I'd just use a larger board to begin with. Now to test it out on some scrap wood. Well, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, I invite you to do so, and I'd love to hear your feedback.